NASA got a huge Christmas gift this morning when it successfully launched its most powerful space telescope ever. The James Webb Telescope, known as the most potent and ambitious instrument in history, has unveiled a revelation so profound that it threatens to change the very foundations of physics in our perception of reality. With a gaze penetrating the furthest reaches of the cosmos, this telescope has challenged established scientific studies, forcing a reevaluation of our entire universe. What this groundbreaking discovery entails and how it will reshape humanity's trajectory remains to be seen. Join us as we unravel the James Webb Telescope's revelation that will end all physics debate, the JWS groundbreaking discovery. The James Webb Space Telescope has revealed a breathtaking image that has ended the debate in physics and shattered our view of the universe. The image shows a galaxy so distant that it took them more than 130 million light years to reach us. This means we see them as when the universe was only about 500 million years old or less than 4% of its current age. This is the most distant and oldest galaxy in the Milky Way, highlighting the strange and surprising fact that galaxies are receding faster than the speed of light. This observation contradicts the theory of relativity, which states that nothing can move faster than the speed of light in a vacuum. But this does not mean that galaxies violate the laws of physics. This means that the space between galaxies is expanding faster than the speed of light and the universe's rate of expansion is not constant, but accelerating. This is the only way to explain the difference between the Hubble constant measured by the CMB and the standard candle. The CMB method gives the average expansion rate of the universe's entire history, while the candlestick method gives the current, much higher rate of expansion of the universe. The difference between the two values is that the universe is expanding faster and this speed is driven by a mysterious force called dark energy. Dark energy is the name of an unknown energy source that accelerates the universe's expansion. It is the most dense element in the universe, accounting for about 70% of all energy. However, we have yet to learn what dark energy is and how it works, but we do know it exists in the universe because of the effect of gravity. It is obtained that dark energy is the opposite of gravity. It pushes things in rather than pulling them together. It is also the opposite of matter in that it has negative rather than positive pressure. It contradicts everything we know about the universe, the invisible, intangible, and unknowable, except for the cosmic results. The James Webb Space Telescope provided the first direct evidence of dark energy that ever existed and the first glimpse into its origin and nature. Furthermore, pictures of some distant galaxies reveal that dark energy was already present in the early universe and active when the first set of stars and galaxies were formed, suggesting that dark energy is not a recent phenomenon, but a vital part of the universe. It also reveals that dark energy is not a constant element or factor, but a dynamic and evolving force. It shows clearly that the universe does not only expand rapidly, but also varies by place and time. This shows that dark energy is not a simple and homogeneous entity, but rather a complex and varied phenomenon. It is also not a single and solitary force, but a multiple and interacting force. The image further shows that the galaxies in the cluster are moving away from each other, from us and everyone else. This means that dark energy is not only a distant and ancient universe, but also an intimate and modern universe. It could also mean that dark energy affects the larger universe and the smaller local scale. The James Webb Space Observatory opened a new window into the universe and a new chapter in physics. This resolved the Hubble stress, but raised new questions and challenges. It revealed the presence and influence of dark energy and its mysteries and apparitions. This changed our understanding of the world, how it evolves, and our perception of reality and its meaning. We have shown that the world is what we think it is, not what we think it is. It showed us that the world is deteriorating and we are deteriorating. Universal Eyes in the Sky, the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST for short, is a marvel of engineering and science. It is a successor to the famous Hubble Space Telescope which has orbited the Earth since 1990, providing stunning images and insights into the universe. But JWST is not just the biggest and best version of Hubble. It is a unique telescope designed to look at the universe differently. Hubble mainly observes the universe with visible and ultraviolet light. 
but JWST observes the universe with infrared light. Infrared light is a type of electromagnetic radiation with a longer wavelength than visible light, so it penetrates through dust and air, blocking us from stars and galaxies. Infrared light can also see very cold or distant objects, such as the first stars and galaxies to form after the Big Bang. By looking at the universe in infrared light, JWST can reveal things that Hubble and other telescopes can't. But looking at the world in a harsh light isn't easy. Earth's atmosphere easily absorbs infrared light, so JWST cannot be placed in low Earth orbit like Hubble. Instead, JWST is placed in a special orbit around the Sun called the Second Lagrange Point, or L2 for short. L2 is the point where the gravity of the Earth and the Sun is balanced so that the JGBUST can remain in a stable position relative to the Earth. And the Sun L2 is about a million miles from the Earth, so four times the distance from the Moon. This means the JGWST is far from Earth's temperature and friction, but difficult to communicate and resolve. Another challenge in viewing the universe in infrared is that JWST emits infrared light because its temperature is well above zero. This is not to block its view. JWST has a giant solar shield the size of a tennis court. It is also protected and stored at minimum temperatures of 370 degrees Fahrenheit to 388 degrees Fahrenheit. The solar shield has five layers, each thinner than a human hair, in different colors and coatings that reflect heat and radiate to the solar shield works so well that it reduces the temperature difference between JWST thermal wings and cooling intermediates by 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. JWST's equipment is the heart and soul of television. They collect and analyze infrared light from the cosmos. JWST has four main instruments, the near-infrared camera, which takes high-resolution images and searches for the first stars and galaxies, a near-infrared spectrograph, or NIRSPEC, which splits light into its component colors and measures chemical composition and movement, the mid-infrared instrument, or MERI, which looks at cold, distant objects like dust clouds, protoplanetary disks, and exoplanets, and the fine guidance sensor and near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph, or FGS NIRSS, which helps point and stabilize telescopes as well as study exoplanetary atmospheres. Together, these instruments enable JWST to search for a wide range of scientific topics, from the universe's origin to the origin of life. JWST is not only a scientific tool, but also a masterpiece of engineering. JWST took more than two decades of planning, design, construction, and testing to come to fruition. It involved thousands of people from 17 countries and cost over $10 billion. It is the largest and most powerful space telescope ever built, with a lens diameter of 21 feet and a diameter of 14,000 pounds. It is also the most fragile and dangerous space telescope ever made because after launch, its mirrors, sunshield, the devices must also be removed and executed in precise sequence. And if something goes wrong in this process, the Joe WST may be damaged or even destroyed with no way to repair or restore it. JWST is a one-time flawless mission, but despite all the challenges and risks, JWST is also the most exciting and promising space telescope ever built because it has the potential to change our understanding of the universe and our place in it. JWST will launch by the end of 2024, at least five years, maybe 10 or so. It will work more or less, during this period, JWST will consider and analyze some of the most fascinating and mysterious objects in the universe and provide answers to some of the most fundamental questions in physics and astronomy. One of these questions is related to a puzzle that scientific communities have tried to crack for years. Hubble stress. The mystery behind the Hubble tension. The Hubble tension remains one of the greatest puzzles in modern cosmology, and scientists have been trying to decode it for years. There is a wide gap between two different methods of measuring the rate of the growth and expansion of the universe, otherwise called the Hubble constant. The Hubble constant reveals how fast the universe is growing or expanding, as well as the age and mass of the universe. This is a key factor that influences our understanding of the history and future of the world. According to scientists, one sure way to measure the Hubble constant is to use the cosmic microwave background. The CMB is the oldest light in the universe, forming about 380,000 years after the Big Bang, when the universe first appeared. 
The CMB carries much information about the universe's early years, including temperature, density, and composition details. By considering small CMB increments, scientists can determine the properties of the universe, including how it expands at that time. Another method of routinely measuring Hubble is to use standard candles or objects whose brightness or distance can be precisely determined. One example of a conventional lamp is a type IA supernova, a type of star explosion that always has the same intrinsic luminosity. By comparing the visible brightness of a supernova with its internal luminosity, scientists can calculate its distance. By measuring the redshift of a massive object and how much its light expands as the universe expands, scientists can calculate how fast it is moving away from us. By combining the distance and velocity of many massive stars, scientists can today estimate the rate at which the universe is expanding. The problem is that these two methods produce different results. The CMB method gives a lower value for the Hubble constant, around 41.6 miles per megaparsec per second, indicating that the universe is expanding slower, older, and larger. The standard candle method gives a higher value for the Hubble constant, about 46 miles per second per megaparsec, indicating that the universe is expanding faster, smaller, and smaller. The difference between these two values is about 9%, which is larger than the expected uncertainty of the measurements. This suggests a real discrepancy, not just a mathematical coincidence. The Hubble family has confused and divided the scientific community for years. Several possible explanations exist for this discrepancy, but none is satisfactory or conclusive. Some scientists believe there is a design flaw in one or both methods, such as poor calibration of instruments, poor use of regular candles, and contamination of signals from other sources. Believe that there is a fundamental flaw in the standard model of cosmology, which holds that the universe is homogeneous and isotropic, and that the laws of physics are the same everywhere and at all times. The Hubble stress remains a huge challenge to our understanding of the universe and how it evolves. It attempts to challenge our existing cosmological theories and models, and makes us search for new and innovative physics. This mystery requires an urgent solution that can affect our view of reality. But how exactly do we resolve this mystery? How do we get the true equation of the Hubble constant and the nature of the universe? This is where the James Webb Space Telescope comes in. Why is the JWST better than every other telescope? The James Webb Space Telescope, also known as the JDWST, has uncovered a mind-blowing image that may have ended the debate in physics and made a mockery of our view of the universe. This image shows a galaxy so far away that, according to scientists, it may have taken more than 130 million light years to get to us. This only connotes that we see them as when the universe was just about 500 million years old, or maybe less than 4% of its current age. According to scientists, this is the Milky Way's oldest and most distant galaxy. This highlights the strange and surprising fact that galaxies are receding faster than the speed of light. This observation contradicts the theory of relativity, which states that nothing can move faster than the speed of light in a vacuum. But this does not mean that galaxies violate the laws of physics. Intergalactic space is expanding faster than the speed of light, which means that the universe's expansion rate is not constant, but accelerated. This is the only way to explain the difference between the Hubble constant measured by the CMB and the standard candle. The CMB method gives the average expansion rate of the universe's entire history, while the candlestick method gives the current much higher rate of expansion of the universe. The difference between the two values is that the universe expands faster and a mysterious force drives the speed. We speak of dark energy. Dark energy is the name given to the unknown energy source driving the accelerated expansion of the universe. It is the most dense element in the universe, accounting for about 70% of all energy. However, we have yet to learn what dark energy is and how it works. We know it exists in the universe because of the effect of gravity. Dark energy is the opposite of gravity. It pushes things in, not pulls them together. It is also the opposite of matter, negative pressure, not positive pressure. It contradicts everything we know, the invisible, the intangible, and the unknowable, except for the cosmic results. The James Webb Space Telescope gave us the first direct evidence of dark energy and how it began to detect it for the first time. 
Images of some distant galaxies show that dark energy was already present in the early universe and was active in the first stars and galaxies, suggesting that dark energy is not a recent phenomenon, but rather an integral part of the universe. The diagram shows that not only is the universe expanding rapidly, but it also varies from place to place and from time to time. This shows that dark energy is not a simple and homogeneous entity, but rather a complex and varied process. It also shows that dark energy is not a single and solitary force, but a multiple and interacting force. The image shows that the galaxies in the cluster are moving away from each other and away from this whole thing. This means that dark energy affects not only the distant and ancient universe, but also the near and modern universe. It also shows that dark energy affects the larger cosmic scale and the smaller local scale. The James Webb Space Observatory opened a new window into the universe and a new chapter in physics. This resolved the Hubble stress, but raised new questions and challenges. It revealed the presence and influence of dark energy and its mysteries and apparitions. This changed our understanding of the world, how it evolves, and our perception of reality and its meaning. We have shown that the world is what we think it is, not what we think it is. It showed us that the world is deteriorating and we are deteriorating. The amazing story behind the most powerful telescope ever. The James Webb Space Telescope, JIST, is the most powerful and ambitious telescope ever built. It is designed to look at the universe in infrared light, revealing the secrets of the first stars and galaxies, planets formation, and life's origins. But how was the JWST built, and why was it discovered? Who is the person who made it? A team of astronomers led by John C. McCarthy conceived the idea behind the construction of the Hubble Space Telescope, which has orbited the Earth since 1990 and provided us with amazing images and insights into the universe. Mather, who won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2006 for his work on the Cosmic Background Explorer satellite, proposed the concept of the next generation space telescope for the universe of infrared light. Infrared light is a type of electromagnetic radiation whose wavelength is longer than that of visible light, so it penetrates through dust and gas, preventing us from seeing stars and galaxies. Infrared light also allows us to see very cold objects or objects far away such as the first stars and galaxies formed after the Big Bang. By observing the universe in dim or infrared light, NGST will reveal objects that Hubble and telescopes could not see. The NGST concept was sponsored by the National Academy of Sciences in 1995 and by NASA in 1996. NASA appointed John C. McCarthy as senior project scientist for NGST. NASA Administrator James E. Schmidt led the Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo programs from 1961 to 1968. In Webb's honor, NGST renamed the James Webb Space Telescope in 2002. Webb is widely regarded as one of NASA's most influential and visionary leaders, perhaps doing more for science than any other government official. But his reputation was also controversial, with some scientists questioning his involvement in discrimination against gay and lesbian NASA employees during his tenure as administrator, when NASA looked into history, recorded and discussed with the Webbs the naming of Jebel EST in 2021. The decision was made, the design and development of the JST. The conception and development of the JWST were complex processes involving thousands of people from 17 countries and costing over $10 billion. The realization of the JWST took over 20 years of planning, design, construction, and testing. JWST is a joint venture between NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency. NASA is the primary partner and funder of the project and is responsible for all JWST management, development, and operations. ESA and CSA are key sponsors and collaborators in the project, providing some of the core components and tools of the JDWST. JWST consists of three main components, the science instrument module, the optical telescope element, and spacecraft. ISIM is the heart and soul of JWST, consisting of four main instruments that collect and analyze infrared light from the universe. OTE is the eye of JWST, and has a 21-foot mirror that reflects infrared light and focuses it on the instruments. The spacecraft is the body of JWST, providing JWST with power, 
communications and control systems, as well as a large solar shield that protects JWST from the heat and light of the sun, earth, and moon. The JWST was launched on December 25, 2021 from the Guyana Space Center in French Guyana on an Ariane 5 rocket. The Ariane 5 is a heavy-duty launch vehicle developed and operated by Ariane Spas, a French company that provides launch services to aerospace agencies and commercial launch vendors. Ariane 5 was selected as the JWST vehicle, locked in for reliability, performance, and availability reasons. The launch was successful, and JWST began its journey to the solar orbit near the Sun-Earth L2 Lagrange point, about 930,000 miles from Earth. The L2 zone is the point where the gravitational fields of the Earth and the Sun are balanced, keeping the JWST in a stable position relative to the Earth and the Sun, and orbiting in a halo orbit around it, which is a circular or elliptical orbit lying in a plane perpendicular to the line connecting the Earth. And the Sun, JWST, has a halo orbit of about 800,000 kelpom, or 500,000 miles, lasting about six months. It took approximately one month for Joseph Wohn to arrive at the L2 site, and another five months to complete its commissioning phase, which involved unpacking and installing its glasses, sun shields, and various instruments, and calibrating and testing them. Unveiled to the public on the 11th of the month, it showed a group of galaxies so distant that their light took us over 13 billion years. The image was hailed as the most profound picture of the universe and revealed the reality of the amazing and shocking discovery that galaxies have been receding from each other faster than the speed of light. The conclusion contradicts the theory of relativity and leads to controversy in physics, which corrupts our view of the universe. The JWST is expected to operate for at least five years, possibly 10 years or more, depending on its fuel and efficiency. During this time, JUWST will look at some interesting and mysterious phenomena in the universe and answer important and profound questions in physics and astronomy. JWST will investigate the universe's beginning, the formation of stars and galaxies, the evolution of planets and life, dark matter and dark energy, and signs of life beyond Earth. Great minds behind the development of the Juster TT. Joust is not the result of one person's ideas, but of the collaborative efforts of many. However, if one person can be credited as the initiator and key leader of the JWST project, it's John C. Mather. Mather is an American astronomer at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland. He is a senior career scientist emeritus at JWST and won the 2006 Nobel Prize in Physics. Mather is best known for his work on the Kobe satellite, which was launched in 1989 and operated until 1993. The Kobe satellite is measured as the oldest light in the cosmic bang, which occurred just about 380,000 years after the big satellite when the universe was first known. The CMB contains a lot of information about the early years of the universe, including information about temperature, density, and composition. Mather and his team members confirmed the Big Bang Theory by examining small craters in the CMB. Mather was also the main originator of the NGST concept, which he proposed in the early 1990s. The concept was based on his experience with the COBE satellite. He envisioned a space telescope that could observe the universe in infrared light, and that would be able to see the first stars and galaxies that were formed after the Big Bang. As a result, he became the senior project scientist for the NGST in 1995 and led the scientific and technical development of the project. He was also instrumental in securing funding and support for the project from NASA, ESA, CSA, and other partners. He has been involved in every aspect of the JWST project, from its inception to its launch and operation. He is widely regarded as the father of the JWST and one of our time's most influential and visionary astronomers. Thank you for watching. Let's hear your thoughts about the potential of the Jossy T in the comment section. Also like this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting adventures. Stay tuned for more.